Liam, a defeat against Alperton today. How disappointing was that one overall? Really disappointing. Uh, as I said, the two goals are terrible. Terrible goals to concede. Uh, not in the game. Not in the game up until the first goal. I said, Andy Paddy's picking up Smith from the set piece, leaves him for Connor to do, which is wrong. And then Smith wins the header and comes into the box. Andy Paddy's just got a clear. And for some unknown reason, you you were there seeing it. What goes through his mind to just leave it? And then Marty Morgan Smith's got the easiest chance ever. And then we score from a set piece where he's headed it in a yard out from a corner in the middle of the goal. So, and you can look at the person who's marking him, you look at the keeper, I said, but you look where it started from. And then the game's over. I said, at the moment, obviously, it's abundantly clear we're not scoring. Uh, Saturday we created numerous chances, didn't score. Today, the only we created the chance. Uh, I think I've also got to put my hands up, so I think I got the team wrong. I said, but there's reasons, Dean was injured. That takes one. I said, you've got a couple, Russell, Russell play, but as a calf. Uh, but wanted to get through it. I said, again, Jack's got a little bit of a knock, but wanted to get through it and had a go. I said, so I tried to get as many fit players on the pitch as I could. Uh, but, you know, it didn't work. You know, people wait for opportunities and then they need to grasp them when they, when they get them. And when they don't, you, you then start questioning whether they're good enough. Um, it's all right doing it in pre-season, but you've got to do it in the, in the season when it, when, it, when it matters. But then again, we've got to find that out. And the only way to find it out is by playing it. Listen, I've always looked to play youth. And one, one thing I said, you know, I was uh, happy with the way Connor performed because he's actually, you know, A, worked hard, B, kept on asking for the ball, C, kept on trying to do the right things. And I said, you know, as, as it pans out, you know, he's probably come off and disappointed. But he'll be alright, he'll come through. He's got a little bit of fire in his belly. But it's the other bits when you come with, you play against the Billy team. I said, whether they're good, bad, and different, you'd know every man of them was going to wear the socks off and they're going to win second ball. And they did win more second ball than we did. So, like, it's that thing of you know, whether I'm a classy player, whether I've got a bit of silkiness, whether you win the battle first before you can do anything. Win the battle, and there's too many of ours didn't. Obviously, we miss Dean's organisation at the back massively. Even if he's not right at times, he just shouts, he keeps people on the toes. Uh, him and Dan frequently argue on the pitch, which again is good. I said, but we missed it, but you know, we can't help that if he's not fit. Um, and you know, I feel sorry for today, I felt sorry for Samo and felt sorry for Rao when he came on because they had nothing but to chase. I said, but you know, they, didn't have more, they didn't have clear cut chances. They've ended up on two set pieces. But, you know, that's that's the the big big disappointment for us. So, the, so you know, seven seven games in, only scored in two games. It tells you where the problem lies. But you know, you do turn out. So is it is it the front two? Well, you could have said yeah on Saturday because there was enough chances. But you couldn't say that today. You couldn't say that about Darlington. I said so. Whether we're a little bit soft away from home. I could accept that. I said whether we got a little bit of a soft underbelly, I can accept that as well. I said so the only way we can do that is get that right, but you know the home performances and the likes of Farsley, you know, I'd say out of seven games we've had five really good performances and we've had two shockers. Uh, we've got to er eradicate the two shockers quickly and we've got to start finding that. I said well, because the pressure puts on, you know, goals change games and the forwards aren't scoring, you know, the wingers aren't scoring, the midfielders aren't chipping in, the centre halves aren't chipping in. So as a team we've got to start scoring goals and that's where we are. As you say, the chance is difficult to come by today. Can you put your finger on, on kind of what is missing in particular in an attacking sense this afternoon? Well, there are too many players who, who won their personal battles more than we did. That, that's it. So when you when they're on physically on top of you, you're not gonna you're not gonna create chances because you don't get up the pitch. And if you go long, it's you know I feel sorry for Sam who's up against three centre halves. We, we had to pass. We play Kieran in in a, in a, in a an attacking position. The idea was trying to play through through the thirds, try and get it out wide and get at people. But you know, let's say face it, it didn't work. But I picked that, so that that's me. I take responsibility for that. Uh, but you, you've seen some of the performances they put in in, in pre-season, some of the earlier games in the season. But at home, you know, there is a type of player who is good at home and is not very good away. And at the moment, I would question one or two. Have they got the fight? Have they got the hunger? Have they got the desire to actually perform away from home? That's the big question. Back at home on Saturday now, and how important is it that we, we get a response? Yeah, of course, it's massively important. We just need to you know, get back up and running. 
uh, get a couple of wins on the board, get the confidence back, hopefully get Sam on the score sheet, uh, start chipping in, and then, you know, as I said, comfortable that we will we will be. We, we know we've got a target where we want to be, uh, and so I'm confident that way. But you know, as I said, I'm not I'm not just going to come here and just dig the players out. That's it. It's pointless. Our, our idea is to trying to develop. I said, you look at the ones who, who play today, who haven't done themselves justice. You like to think they learn from this. Uh, and then take it into Saturday. The only thing I will say, I now, you get to the end of August, I now know what my strongest side is. So to actually sit here now going, go on, please. So you got to forget pre season, that's all done. Forget training, that's all done. I know what our strongest 11 is. And if we get our strongest 11 on the pitch, the younger ones who, who need to step in when they come can develop on the sidelines and develop in training and develop in the 20 minute spells to get. So because at the moment, I can't trust them to actually start the game. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers.